Hello, Fred here. I want to welcome everyone to the secret Silver Stacking Society. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, for those who are new, I normally predominantly talk about silver, a little bit about cryptos, um, a little bit about real estate, a little bit about investing, um, things like that. So, you know, I want to look at I, my portfolio, I guess you could call it, um, is roughly about half silver, a little bit, actually over half silver, then cash, then I'm starting to get into cryptos a little bit. Now, the weird thing is, cryptos were doing well when I invested in it, and then it dropped. And it's funny because I always tend to buy high and sell low. Uh, which is horrible. Well, I don't really sell low, but um, I buy high and I have to wait for the next high to recoup what I made and um, continue from there. So um, right now, cryptos have taken a dip. And if you get some stable uh, type coins, coins with a good track record, uh, you can make money. I'm researching things like Safe Moon, which is a new uh, crypto that came out. And it has tokenomics, so you can't really mine it. Uh, and I'm still understanding it and learning it. It's very, very risky. Uh, I'm not saying go get Safe Moon. I'm just saying it's something I decided to invest in. And cryptos are only going to make about 1% of the portfolio. So, uh, you know, a little bit of risk in there to try to get a high return. I may kick it up to 3%. We'll see. Uh, but I'm still learning. I like the idea of staking because I was using Coinbase for a while. Where I can stake and get high APYs. Where I get crypto back. You know, while holding it on the exchange, uh, the cool thing about Safe Moon is when you use the trust wallet, it can uh, uh, generate more crypto the longer you hold it. So uh, that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, I haven't been buying silver as much, um, but I may get some more silver here. Uh, Having a couple problems with my account, my uh, email, uh, and my other services connected to my email. So I'm trying to do the best I can to uh, hold on to this account and keep making videos. But uh, it's getting very, very risky. So um, I, to make a departure from some of the past videos... If you're going to do a YouTube channel, I recommend separating your email and the information uh, and putting that separate from an email you would use for your personal use. You know, um, there's a lot of hackers out there and um, you don't want to um, get hacked because somebody sees you have a big following and then you get hacked and then it's just a mess. So. Try to separate, if you're doing a YouTube channel, make sure you separate your email and everything that you use on a regular basis from your YouTube channel. That's probably a smart method to uh, avoid some of the problems I'm facing now. And also, if you give out an email, make sure it's an email that's, you know, for people to contact you. Make sure it's an email that um, nobody, uh, it's not connected to anything that you use on a regular basis. I plan on trying to keep making videos. I've been making videos for about two years now. Um, like I, I know I don't have the big following as some of the other channels. And it's kind of a low tech, low budget uh, channel I have here. Kind of bit of a, blog, a vlog and um, a little bit of talking about silver. Um, I still believe in silver. It's something outside the system it's something where uh, it has a wealth factor to it. It's an, it's an attractor of wealth. 
if you read Fake by Robert Kiyosaki, which I'm rereading, uh, it talks about that. Um, but if you really want safer investments, a lot of the safe investments are boring. But um, there's some great strategies like dollar cost averaging, um, you know, paying yourself first. That means paying 10% to an investment uh, that will generate a good return. Uh, I, I read, well, I'm reading, I should say, The, uh, the Wealthy Barber, I think. And um, I think that's the name of the book. But anyways, in that book, he talks about dollar cost averaging and um, paying yourself 10%. You can also read that in The Richest Man in Babylon. Um, but those are some great strategies. And you can really dollar cost average into any investment. You could dollar cost average into stocks. You could dollar cost average into commodities. It's a little harder to dollar cost average into real estate. Um, but when you say you're going to buy a certain amount of properties every year or every two years or every five years or however you do it, that's somewhat similar to dollar cost averaging um, you're just staying consistent and consistently accumulating more assets as time goes forward um, so I just want to share that information with you I know I don't talk about some of the more uh, mechanical uh, strategies in terms of investing and things like that but those are things that help me out it helped me with silver where I dollar cost average into silver and I just kept buying and buying and buying and buying and the weird thing is, I ended up with a lot of ounces, and then I started to sell. I sold a little bit off, but I saved money and bought silver at the same time, and that really helped uh, to build up my portfolio. So I'm trying my best to get into real estate. I'm exploring all the options. Uh, I'm going to make more offers, uh, call some people, see what they got going, and, uh, you know... Uh, try to just put myself out there, you know. Sometimes that's part of the 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 schematic or some part of the plan is just putting yourself out there and seeing what is available, and seeing what works with your overall strategy and tactics. You know, you the thing about tactics in a strategy, you can always uh, modify and adjust tactics. You can always tweak it. And do things that you, hey, this is work, so I'm going to keep doing this and get this result. And as I get that result, I am going to uh, continue to, uh, you know, do that method. And then I'll experiment a little bit and try some other stuff, but still staying with what has worked in the past. So, um you know, I hope that makes sense. I can always go into the difference between strategy and tactics in another video if anybody wants to hear about that. But really, strat our tactics are really uh, the short-term goals that help you reach your overall goal, which is your strategy. And your short-term goals can always change because life is always changing. So... Um, yeah, that's just how uh, I see it. Uh, we're in exciting times right now. I know a lot of people are hurting. But um, if you could just put back 10% dollar cost average into something that hopefully if it's a real asset, it will pay you as you own it. Um, like I said, more and more cryptos are coming out. Or there's more options of cryptos coming out where... You can stake coins or get an annual percentage of return uh, for owning the coin. And I just recommend people take your time, do your research. Uh, don't just listen to one ex ex expert, excuse me. And, um, you know, look into these things, tokenomics. Look into uh, high APYs. Look into how you can loan out crypto and get, uh, you know, three times what you put into it, you know. So look into these things, do research. That's what I'm doing. I'm still in the research phase. And I'm not just committing to one 
area of investing in crypto. I'm trying different areas and looking for what is the most successful. I had some nice success with uh, Coinbase, with their APY on some of their cryptos. Um, so, you know, I'm going to look at different exchanges and different options to see, hey, who's going to give me a high annual percentage yield uh, when I invest on their exchange. So, and I know there's a risk. I do have a wallet now. I'm using the Trust Wallet. Um, so, uh, I recommend have a little bit, have a wallet, and it's a software wallet, have a wallet. Um, some people like hardware wallets, that's okay too, but have a wallet, have a little bit of money on the exchange, see how you can generate that APY. These are just my suggestions. If you're going to invest in crypto, you don't have to, I'm not promoting or pumping anything. Uh, like I said, the cryptos I'm looking at are safe moon BTT, uh, and that's the bit turret. Um, I'm looking into those, and then I'm also looking into some of the uh, more established, longer established uh, coins that don't have as much, uh, you know, issues as those other two. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know it has been a little bit longer than normal. Um, I'm still bullish on silver. And as Silver5150 says, just 20 ounces to your name keeps you 99% ahead of the game. And as I say, just 20 ounces to your name makes you a member of the secret Silver Stacking Society. It's Fred here. It's been my pleasure to talk to you guys this afternoon. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye.